Thank you for joining me for this video. I am Mr. Ish. I hope everyone's doing well. We are looking here at this multi embedded root and then we are going to determine its value. I have x square root x root x root x root x. These are all embedded roots. Every single one of those roots as you can see has a certain index and that index would be 2. These are indeed square roots but when you embed square roots their power changes or the index changes. What is the value of all of this? What would x represent here? x would be any value like larger than 1. Well, we're talking about whole numbers so x can be here equal to 2, it can be 3, it can be 4, it can be 5, anything, a reasonable number. But what is the end result of all of this? Let's compute it. How can we do this computation? Look right here at this x which is sitting outside the square root and push it aside and we'll only worry about this part onwards. When I'm looking at it, I have a root x, root x, root x. These are embedded roots. When I'm looking at this x right over here, it's equal to x to the power of 1 or 2 because it's in a square root. When I'm looking at this, right, and all of these are in a product relationship, this right here is x to the power of 1 over 4 because a root within a root is equal to a, you have a square root, but then you have a square root. This is equal to anything but to the power of 1 over 4 because 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 4. Everything here by a factor of 2. When I'm looking here at this next one, you know this right here would be x to the power 1 over 8. And then this right here would be equal to x to the 1 over 16. And we're going through here an infinite iterations of square roots. An infinite number of embedded roots. So you know this would be x to the 1 over 32. And then x to the 1 over 64 on and on. So this is what I have. But look over here. These are all exponential factors each having a same base but different exponent when the base is the same the exponents add a to the m times a to the n the same base the exponents add m plus n when i'm looking at all of this i'm really looking at a common base x then to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32 on and on when i'm looking at this now i want to determine what is the sum of all of this because that will give me the value of the exponent applying to x I have not forgotten about this x which is sitting outside. How can I determine the value of these exponents? If you look carefully, they represent an infinite geometric series. That's what they are, an infinite geometric series. And you can identify it by means of this rule from n equals 1 up to infinity. I have 1 over 2 to the power of n. Think about it. When n equals 1, I have 1 over 2. And because it's a series, we're looking at the sum of these values. Then I have 1 over 2 to the power of 2, then I have 1 over 2 to the power of 3, then I have 1 over 2 to the power of 4, here I have to the power of 1, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16, on and on. This is exactly what I have. An infinite geometric series develops. And you know the common ratio over here is equal to one term and the term right before, if I do 1 over 8 and the term right before 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over 2. How can I determine the sum of this infinite geometric series? There's a formula, your first term divided by 1 minus your common ratio, what's your first term? It's this right here. It's equal to 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 minus my common ratio 1 over 2. I have a 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 which is equal to a 1. That is telling me the sum of all of these exponents 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. Add them up on your calculator. You see the value will tend towards 1. All of that here is equal to 1. That tells me I am looking over here at x to the power of 1. All of this is equal to x to the power of 1. Now let's come back here to this x sitting outside and let's look at it. I have now an x sitting outside times x to the power of 1. My end result here is x squared. All of this right here will be equal to x squared. But what does all of this mean in terms of practical example? Well, let's show you a practical example. Keep in mind everything over here was a application of infinite geometric series. The end result here being x squared. But if I had an example such as this 5 square root, 5 square root 5 square root 5 embedded number of square root 5s all of these what would be the value of it? it would be a 5 times everything from within these embedded roots another 5 it would be equal to a 25 because we're looking here at an x square which is 5 square and that's giving me a 25 and that would be the value of something which looks like this where you have an infinite iterations of square roots with a number sitting outside obviously the numbers are the same because they're all equal to x over here but the end result of this is x squared. The end result of this would be a 25. And that right there brings us to the end of this video. Thank you.